Hello and welcome to Math with Friends here. We just got a little lesson involving limits and discontinuity. So we're going to start with that first point on the top left. So the, uh, when, when f is equal to 2, believe it or not, that value does not exist. And to move on down, the limit as x approaches 2 actually equals 1 and a half. The limit as x approaches negative 2 also doesn't exist. However, the limit as x approaches 2 equals negative 1. My bad. The limit as x approaches negative 2 equals negative 1. To furthermore the point, we know that the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side equals infinity, while the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side also equals infinity. The limit as x approaches infinity equals 1, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity equals 1. Now, we'll look at the graph now, and as we can see, those first two points, uh, negative 2 and negative 1, that was the, the, our, our first point when f equals to negative 2 didn't exist. However, the limit as x approaches negative 2 equals negative 1. That is, believe it or not, removable discontinuity. All we have to do is assign the value of negative 2 when x, assign the value of negative 1 when x equals negative 2. And furthermore, as we can see, when, uh, when as f equals 2, the limit as x, as x equals 2, y equals 1 and a half, that point is also remo uh, a point of discontinuity. However, if we just assign the correct value, we can get, we can rid that point and as it is removable. Uh, you can see the vertical asymptote when x equals 1, that is infinite, yes, infinite, dis uh, an infinite, um, Discontinuity, discontinuity, and uh, as we can see, the horizontal slopes. Uh, the limit as x approaches infinity equals one, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity equals one. Both, both showing that we actually also have a horizontal asymptote. Thank you for this lesson with uh, math with friends, and we'll see you next time.